You ready? Yep. What's up, everyone? Sorry about the delay. We were trying some new microphones out, and they didn't work. I got... I got some shotgun mics, because we were like, hey, let's get some of this stuff off the table. Let's free up some space, and... Uh, oop, that's still on. <laughs> what? I'm glad the, the microphone was still on. Oh. Uh, but yeah, we didn't get them to work right, so we'll have to work on that. But hopefully soon, we'll have like a litter-free zone. <laughs> well, I mean, it's just having these like right in our faces sounds really great, but we'd like to be able to use microphones that aren't in the shot. Yeah. Um, but hey, we'll, we'll see. We'll figure it out. It's a work in progress, like life. <laughs> Hi, buddy. What did you give me? <gasps> An empty uh, toy. <laughs> it's like, this is empty. It could have treats in it. Here you go. He doesn't want it now. <laughs> he doesn't want it empty. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see him? I, I don't have any treats for you. I'm sorry. Oh, I said the word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's... He's hiding behind the falcon. He's hard to see. <laughs> oh. Welcome to Wednesday. Our, our chill Lego building Wednesday night stream. Uh, who is in the chat? Elijah Neal. High Ground Productions. Ted Comment. Sith Bird, John Boos, Jane, a lot of our, a lot of our regulars in here. What's up, guys? Artie Films. Oh, okay, okay, we've got a couple super chats already. Um, I think you told me the other day. You did the math and you you decided how when we might finish this. I think there's a chance we could finish this on May 5th, which Maybe, is kind of cool. Is, so that's a Wednesday? Yeah. Maybe. So Tuesday's May 4th. That'll be Canon Timeline 2021. Yeah. Just It feels <laughs> like it should be on the 4th. <laughs> but that's when the Canon Timeline comes out. I know. So Revenge of the 5th. Well, we could did the timeline could come out and we could stream later, do a special. <laughs> Maybe live we stream. could we could start it like eleven, on May the fourth, and then end it on the fifth. <laughs> yeah. It just it just feels right. So yeah, we'll be building this until May. <laughs> um, Molly's trying to mess with my system. What system? You mean the day of the week that we stream? Uh -huh. Yep. Uh. I have a system. Um. <laughs> As for what we have to build after this, we have plenty of things to build, both here and on Twitch. On Twitch. <laughs> so. I I got the Lego Cantina. I found it. Yeah. So. So I'm excited about that. That will be probably our next build after we finish this will be the cantina pretty excited that we that you found that one i'm happy about that <laughs> um let me get started on these super chats here huh this is so this username is no this is matric which i believe there was one that said, no, this is Patrick. Uh -huh. I wonder if this is the same one and they changed it. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. So they say, thought I'd use my new solo channel instead of the band one uh, just to confuse y'all. What artist or composer would you love to see make music for Star Wars? Uh, Lady Gaga. I <laughs> 
I, I was gonna say Bear McCreary, but I believe he's already done that. I think he did the music for Tales from the Galaxy's Edge, but he did uh, the music for Battlestar. Uh, and I am blanking on the exact, uh, Reg Regime Dewadi? Ramin Dewadi? Someone help. Uh, <laughs> help. He did the music for Game of Thrones and Iron Man and uh, some MCU movies. Okay. So he's already like, he's in the Disney family a little bit, uh, but he, he did great work on Game of Thrones. Um, so I could see both of them. Yeah. Yeah. Someone in the chat said Hans Zimmer. <laughs> it's weird. Like, I I feel a little weird having, I don't know, some of John Williams, like, <coughs> quote, yeah. competitors coming in to write Star Wars now, but like, it shouldn't be that way. It's just, I don't know why in my head I'm like, that feels wrong. I just, I wonder if some of the other big composers even want to do Star Wars music. Cause like, it's, it's, a, it's a big task to try and follow anything that John Williams has made. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, I'm sticking with Lady Gaga. She could, <laughs> she could make a bomb. She, she plays the piano. She could write yeah. some cool Star Wars music. Uh, Daft Punk. I, I liked what they did with Tron. Yeah. Like I, I tend to like it when, um, artists, yeah, come in and compose music. Like Trent Reznor, uh, mm -hmm. has made some great scores. Uh, John Powell and Michael Giacchino have both done mm -hmm. Star Wars stuff so i'd like to have them back I, d I loved john powell's score and what michael giacchino did with only like a couple months uh was pretty special so those those would be our picks uh <laughs> sleep of giants thanks for the super chat uh must have seen my ig story that we are currently Rewatch. I'm currently rewatching. Alex is watching it for the first time. The <laughs> OC uh, is on HBO, and their super chat is California. Yeah, here, here we come. come. <laughs> Apologies for everyone's ears. No and, apology from me. And brains. <laughs> <We're>, <laughs> we started watching it because of uh, Patrick Willem's video. Uh, Patrick, and Patrick the, Willems influences quite a bit on what we choose to the, watch. The second he said George Lucas was in an episode, I was like, fine, let's watch it. Oh yeah, we're going to get a strike for, for singing that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I will, I'm not sold on it yet. You, uh, you, I think you will be. I'm, I'm getting there. Uh, but there, like, there are things I certainly like about it, but... Uh, yeah, the last episode, the third episode, I think, that we watched, um, it, it started to grow on me more. You, Yeah, some stuff happened that you, that surprised you, yep. uh, which is rare. But I watched The O.C. as it was airing live on TV back in, like, 03, 04. Uh, and it, it really spoke to me as a, as a young girl in high school. <laughs> With all the drama. It, it is uh, kind of like Veronica Mars, and I like Veronica Mars a lot, so I'm getting there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Brian says the show was my angsty teenage years. Yeah. Oh, it's so dramatic. Like, I've definitely rolled my eyes a couple times, but it's okay. It also just, like... We come from different worlds. Yeah. Okay, calm down. It... I'm I'm a lot like the I, I can't even remember their names the the main kid who like in the first or second episode he's like you know what I like about rich kids <laughs> nothing and he punches them like and I'm like Adam Brody <laughs> you were the rich kid no I, I well, would have hated <laughs> I, I was just gonna say that I like Star Wars and comic books and nerdy stuff oh, okay but if you well. want to punch me in the face fine. <laughs> I I oof, I don't know how I would have handled going to school with like rich California kids with houses like they have on that show with their infinity pools and 
and whatnot. Like, that's just a different world. I've been looking for this weird looking piece for a while and now I'm like, oh, I see that it's not that at all. Okay, that makes more sense. Sorry, uh, I got distracted. Uh, but thank you, Sleep of Giants. Uh, Rod Films, thanks for the super chat. If you could integrate any other fictional universe into Star Wars and make it official canon, what would you pick and why? I love these streams. Oh, thank you. Um, he, he was just digging on the uh, on the carpet. On the carpet. Hmm. We've talked about this before. I, I feel like we have, and I, I'm trying to remember what I said. And I think I, can't I remember said. It all. I think I said, Game of Thrones. Would Game of Thrones be a prequel or a sequel? Like, is Star Wars a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, and Game of Thrones is, like, a kind of long time ago? No. Not quite as long ago? I think it would be, like, Old Republic time. Maybe. Real, like, so, is it just a planet somewhere where they still fight with actual swords and stuff? <laughs> Hilo, what are you doing? Hilo's trying to dig a hole through the, the floor. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I do like the idea of just like a planet where you go and it's like, oh, it's just straight up a fantasy world. <laughs> or, I mean, we've talked about that's, Dune before. It's it's already very that's, similar. That's what we were talking about. Cause like, it's already basically there. Yeah, already very similar to Star Wars. Um, maybe, oh, let, let's, the OC. Let's follow the rich Padawan kids. Um, but I think they're saying, the... like, literally the OC would be in Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> not, not not like an OC version of, or a Star Wars version of the OC. Literally, oh, okay. these characters exist. <laughs> uh, okay, never mind. <laughs> that doesn't really work. Hilo. Hilo, what buddy. Doing? What are you doing? Maybe, uh, like, Mars Attacks? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, I like that. The new species. Forget the grisk. Let's get those <laughs> little green guys in uh -huh. there. I like that. <laughs> uh, Doom Doom Slayer 420. Thanks for the super chat. It's a great name. Hello there. I was just wondering when you might be planning on doing the Rise of Skywalker audio commentary. Yeah, we got to do that. Yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe soon because I need to watch you, it again yeah. to study for my showdown. So. That's. It, it always feels like we have something going on that like makes like Molly will want to actually watch it, but maybe that can be the commentary. It's me pointing out things to you. <laughs> yeah, you, you'll be quizzing me the entire time. That's that's the commentary. That'll be fun. Oh, Brian in the chat said Buffy. Yeah, I think I've said that before. I could see that working. That'd be that'd be cool. Like, kind of like there is this idea of a what is it? A Jedi for hire? Oh yeah, yeah. The they call it a saber for hire. A saber it's for be hire. In the so it's the, the, I don't know anything about this character in the High Republic yet, but it's basically like they're not in the Jedi Order, but they have a lightsaber. They're like a freelance. Jedi, basically. Um, so, like, Buffy could be a freelance bounty hunter. Sticker time. Ooh. Uh, yeah, Doom Slayer. We will. We will do that soon. We need to do that soon. Okay. Uh, that goes here. I don't know why they didn't put these in order. Five goes on the left side. Mm -hmm. Four goes on the right side. On these pieces. Uh huh. And then six goes on that flat piece there. So five, four, six. Correct. Okay. <laughs> I can read the <laughs> next one while you. Okay. Uh, Ted Comet, thanks for the super chat. Molly, why aren't you following Baby Yoda memes on Insta? I guess why I not? should be. I guess I should be. <laughs> uh, two. Have either of you seen the Godzilla vs Kong trailer? 
And three, if so, have you figured out why Godzilla is attacking? I, I gotta be honest, I have not a care in the world for that movie. <laughs> uh, I'm, uh, I'm interested in it. Uh, is that right? Yeah, I was making sure. Not that like it super matters, but I uh, put nails on, and now this is gonna be hard. Oh, should I do the stickers? No. <laughs> um. So I watched the first Godzilla movie of the recent era. I watched Kong Skull Island, which I actually dug. I like Kong Skull Island. I haven't seen Godzilla King of Monsters. Um, so I'm just tired of those movies. You but haven't I, even I, seen them. <laughs> I know, and I haven't even seen them. Just knowing that there are so many of them existing out in the world, I'm just like, I'm not interested. It's are, well, into- are you Team Kong or Team Godzilla? Well, I don't know because like, aren't aren't they like good guys in some of the movies? They're supposed. To, well, is Kong supposed to be a good guy? I think so. But I mean, he's, the, he's a bad guy. So I believe the plot of this movie is Godzilla starts attacking people. Yeah, and Kong and we comes don't to we the don't rescue. know why, and so they go get Kong to fight Godzilla. Uh. So, I mean, I'm Team Kong, only because I liked Kong Skull Island more than I liked Godzilla. I'm Team Mothra. (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) There you go. Good job. A little crooked, but I I have nails. It's good. Um, But why why is Godzilla attacking? I mean, I have... Because he can. I have a theory. A theory. I've seen people talking about why and i'm like that makes sense so and it feels like it's going to be the plot so i'm not gonna say but i don't know that much about like the lore behind godzilla i just or king kong i just want a power rangers movie (laughs) that's specific rim (laughs) okay fair enough i i actually haven't seen pacific rim it's fine I I wasn't all that into it. I I feel I'm like not a, I'm just not into kaiju movies, really. I guess. Yeah, I guess I'm not either. I know that there's a lot of people out there though that love Pacific Rim. Yeah, and I'm all of, like I think Guillermo del Toro is great. Um, I just kaiju movies aren't my thing. Yeah. A lot of, I'm, I'm looking at the chat to see what they have to say. <laughs> I, I know there was a Power Rangers movie. There was a couple, weren't there? There were, well, there was a recent one, yeah. Uh, where oh, it was like IHOP or something was heavily sponsored in it. <laughs> <laughs> or Dunkin' Donuts, maybe. And Elizabeth Banks was uh, the bad guy. Hmm. We didn't watch it. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. So I will just move on. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, and then after, did you read Jake's? No. No. So after that, Jake Berlin, thanks for the super chat, said, serious question, Team Godzilla or Team Kong? So apparently Team Kong. Uh, Kong Skull Island is a good movie. It's... It's goofy. Is that the one with Jack Black in it? No, that's King Kong. Peter Hilo. Jackson's King Kong. He was eating the string. It's got John C. Riley in it. Do you remember that? Cause, yes. Because I showed you that stuff. I was like, this movie is goofy, but it also kind of made me tear up with John C. Riley's story. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I remember you showing me so, that. So, Team Kong. Speaking of Power Rangers, though, did you see the Ivan Ooze movie in yeah. theaters uh-huh. when it came out? Yep. I did, too. Like, Proudly. me and my friends went and just... <laughs> my mom took me. Oh. <laughs> my poor mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to ask her about that next time I see her. Um, that movie slaps. I'm saying it. Okay. It does have Paul Freeman in it. 
the bad guy from Raiders of the Lost Ark, he plays Ivan Ooze. Exactly. It's, it's a good movie. Period. <laughs> End of discussion. You just made me gym the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Where is this piece? I swear. What, which piece? I'm looking for a piece <laughs> like this. With the little ridges on uh, it? Uh-huh. Stand by. Same color. Yep. Is it ridges on both sides? Yeah. Usually I'm pretty good at spotting these pieces that you can't find. I mean, I had to dump everything into a, like a Tupperware at the end of the last stream because we didn't have enough time to finish the bag and then that just mixes everything together. So now I'm like, we had some level of organization and I ruined it. <laughs> But it's fine. I'll find it. I don't see it. I don't either. I don't think it exists. Oh, well, that's a problem. <laughs> Ugh. All right. Sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> captured command post. Thanks for for the super chat. He can you not let him eat that string? Um, trivia: Thrawn's birth name, and also have you have we seen Phineas and Ferb yet? <laughs> Thrawn's birth name, we, we talked about this, right? Mithron Uodo? Uh, n no. Myth he, he had a different family before oh. the Thrawns. And I don't remember what it was. Does it have a lot of apostrophes in yeah, it? Yeah, of course it does. So no, I, I do not know it off the top of my head. Um. But it's in Chaos Rising, which is in here. So I need to reorganize my bookshelves. I had them chronological and then like they keep putting books at the start of the timeline where I'm like, I have to move all of these. So then I just like shove them into the, into the pile. I need to reorganize my books, reorganize my life. I found the piece. <laughs> <laughs> His birth name was Kivu Ranuru. Kivu, Kivu Ranuru. <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying that right. You definitely are. But I tried. And no, we have not seen Phineas and Ferb yet. We were talking about doing, uh, instead of a Clone Wars commentary, doing a Phineas and Ferb commentary. Like, we've never seen it before, and everyone keeps wanting us to watch it, so it's like, we could just watch that and do a commentary on it. Skip a week of Clone Wars. Yeah. So uh, we might do that. But I, then I saw it was an hour long and not 22 minutes, and I was like, oh, didn't didn't schedule the time for that. I, feel, I mean, I feel like we won't watch it until after my schmodown happens. Because I'm just like... Yeah. I've got kind of tunnel vision right now. Except for WandaVision. Because <laughs> we gotta, gotta talk about that. Um... Oh, lost my place again. Wow, a lot of super chats. Thank, thank you so much, guys. Um, oh, it's good because I feel like I'm building slower than normal. <laughs> Shadow Demon One One Seven, thanks for your super chat. I forgot to ask you. Do you think Grogu told Luke about meeting Ahsoka and possibly telling him that she was his father's Padawan? I wonder if he knows that. Gro I wonder if Grogu, Grogu knows who Ahsoka is. Pro like, uh, probably not. Like, I feel like they were talking through the Force, but it's still probably an element of like mentally going, "Hi, my name is Grogu," and she's like, "Hi, my name is Ahsoka." Mm -hmm. I don't think he read her mind completely and was like, "Whoa, you've seen some stuff." Right, but like, she she could just tell by reading his feelings that he went through a lot of stuff. Right, a lot of, a lot of trauma. Um, but no, I don't think they were having like a full on. I, I don't think Grogu knows all those details. They weren't. They weren't doing send a message. In in D and D. <laughs> right. <laughs> Nerd. Is that what that's called? I think it's just called message. Yeah. Uh. 
Uh, Miranda here. Thanks for the super chat. Been loving your recent Wired tech support videos. Is that going to be a long-term video series with them or is it uh, whatever happens, happens? So I believe... I believe it's done. It's done, yeah. We recorded one long piece with them and they broke it into two parts and it's just the part one and part two. So until they ask us to come back... We'll happily do it again, but yeah, for now it's just... We just shot for like two hours straight, I think. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, they they broke that into multiple pieces. Oh, Worf Jig's in the chat and says, I feel attacked. (laughs) Well, he just. He does a lot of send messages. Yeah, it's just message. Oh, okay, well. Dan23, thanks for your super chat. What do you think of the High Republic new character Wayseeker? Uh, oh yeah, Jedi Orla Jer and her hinged double-bladed lightsaber. I mean, I'm always down for a cool new lightsaber. So she is in Into the Dark. So uh, you know who she I is. I know already. who she is. Yeah, uh, but it was night. I did not know. They had artwork for her. I'm glad that they revealed that. Like, that's one of my favorite things about the High Republic is just like, oh my God, we actually have visuals for these characters in these locations. And they're doing all these uh, YouTube specials on them. Like, I love all that. Uh, it's uh, sticker time and I need, I need sticker number one on that. Uh, on the inside? That goes on that, yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, she is a really cool character. End of the Dark has some cool stuff in it. Um, trying to think of what to say about her without like spoiling anything. She, she has a cool history. She's fun to read about. The, the story kind of like flashes back between the present day and her past along with another character and kind of something that they went through. Yeah. Uh, and seeing that unfold is really cool. <laughs> uh, sticker, right, sticker. I have yet to read that book because I am waiting for the audio book. <laughs> yeah, when, when Molly reads that and then Maybe we'll just do like a weekly or a, a monthly High Republic recap or something, which I guess is what the High Republic show is. I was going to say that. So I don't want to. Like I don't want to steal that thunder. The show that just but, started. But each month we're going to get new books or uh, new comics at the very least, and then if there's a new book to talk about, we could do an in-depth dive on that. Yeah. Like we did with the first ones. Sorry, I'm being rude. <laughs> uh, let's see. Caleb Nall, thanks for your super chat. Uh, since the HU is a real world band. The Who. The, the Who? HU? Mm-hmm. Okay. Since The Who is a real-world band that is canon in Star Wars, what real-world band slash artist do you want to see in the Star Wars universe? I already talked about Daft Punk, but that still seems like it would fit. They said Lady Gaga equals M. I don't know what that means. I don't either. But I mean, I already said Lady Gaga. I mean, Daft I think she would fit with, with her crazy costumes and stuff. Like uh, Erodia from Solo. I think that makes sense. That's basically Lady Gaga in space with her little floating head. Yeah. Singing back up. Um, hmm, I'm trying to think of another band we'd want to see in the Star Wars universe. I like Daft Punk. That makes that sense. That still makes sense, yeah. Um, I just saw that. There we go. Hmm. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Hilo just let out the most exasperated sigh. What am I trying to think of here? I'm just trying to think of like other kind of out there artists. I like Lady Gaga and Daft Punk. Yeah. I do too. Anyone well, that's like electronic. We'll stick with them. <laughs> uh, Will H, thanks for the super chat. Do you guys think Anakin and Obi-Wan were ever roommates? I personally like to believe each Gar unit had their own super cool frat house. I... Gee, what, what's a Gar unit? Uh... Grand Army of the Republic. Oh, okay. It took me a second to get there. Um, maybe? Like, growing up in the Jedi Temple, I think every Jedi probably had, like, maybe Padawans shared rooms. I don't think uh, it's a good idea to let a Padawan and their master, like, or, like, that they would have to be in the same space. I feel like Anakin would need <laughs> a little space from his surrogate father. Yeah. Yeah, because that... That kind of, like, if they were roommates, then it takes a, away a little bit from the Padawan master relationship, I think. But I mean, at times they were, I mean, they certainly had to share ships together. So if they're on hyperspace for a long voyage, then they're technically roommates. I'm sure they had to share living quarters at some point. And I'm sure Anakin uh, destroyed the kitchen and made Obi-Wan very upset. Yeah, I could see that. What, so, which one is the slob if they are Anakin. roommates? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Obi-Wan's just upset constantly. <laughs> uh, on the Brick, thanks for your super chat. Hi, no question, just wanted to send support. Oh, Thanks, On the Brick. Thank you. Very, very nice of you. Uh, Max Lightyear, thanks for the super chat. Watching THX 1138. Have you guys seen it? I actually have not. I haven't either. I don't even know what it's about, really. That, That's something that I should watch at some point. I think I've seen, I've seen American Graffiti. Oh, I haven't seen more American Graffiti. Um, Wait more yeah there's a sequel to american graffiti i didn't know that <laughs> <laughs> have you seen american graffiti uh if i have it's been a really really long time i liked it a lot um i haven't seen it since college but it's good um i mean it's, I feel like THX 1138 should be something that we should see at some point. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, fake fan over here. Oh yeah, super fake fan. <laughs> Brian Thomas, thanks for the super chat. Light of the Jedi spoiler. Are we, are we talking? Oh, well, let me see. Uh, you can read it, but maybe try to be a little vague. Mm. You could say, okay, this let's is, say... I think this is vague enough to well, not just be Just leave, leave the Jedi's name out of it. Okay. Uh, so they say the crazy gun that... Markion. Mar Martian. It's Markion. Martian <laughs> wrote brandishes and the High Republic artwork is totally, parentheses maybe made from a Jedi's lightsaber thoughts. Hmm. I haven't taken a close enough look at it to have an opinion on that, but that is interesting. And it could be tied to stuff that we've seen. Like we've seen lightsaber powered weapons before, like projectile weapons. Yeah. Uh, so it could be connected with something like that. I'm into the idea uh, and considering what happens in the book, it's possible. So yeah. I just need to take a look at the the lightsaber and the gun and compare the two. Mm, yeah. 
Yeah, I haven't taken a good look at the gun that he's holding. Uh, Ethan, yeah, they do say Martian in the audiobook, but, like, Charles Soule himself says Markion, so I don't know where that got messed up. It's just a thing where, like, Claudia Gray has talked to me about that before, that sometimes they get to, or may, I don't know what the deal is, where she has talked about wanting to give pronunciation guides to the audiobook narrators, mm -hmm. because she envisions her, uh, is it Casterfo? Casterfo. Cast now I can't remember which is w the right way anymore. I think but it's Casterfo. Like, I th yeah, I think I called him Ransom Casterfo, and then she she went Casterfo in an interview with her, and I was like, oh, and sh then she was like, yeah, I like I envision I hear these names in my head one way, and then sometimes the narrators read them another. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's Markion, but Molly heard it Martian so many times that it stuck in her head, I and like now Martian. There, better. add that to the list of things that we disagree on. Okay. <laughs> Star Ruggieri, I, I hope I said that right. Thanks for your super chat. Hi, Molly and Alex, hope you're well. Just started Light of the Jedi and I'm loving it. Do you know where I can find any pictures of these ships or characters? Hmm. So not a lot of artwork for the ships as of right now, but they're... The rain just kicked in, or maybe that's just that wind. But... Sounds like wind. It's supposed to rain again tonight. Or rain, uh, anyways, um, so... The only artwork for the ships right now is in the comic and in the little short animated series that Star Wars has been putting out. Um, StarWars.com has released some stuff, but like the vectors are based off of concept art for uh, episode three, like the arc 170s. Mm -hmm. And so StarWars.com has an article where they kind of got inspiration for a lot of this stuff. So that's a good place. And um, what's the, the the Great Rescue, Great Jedi Rescue? So Kevin Scott wrote like a very young reader's book, like a golden book, an illustrated telling of the great disaster and how the Jedi came and saved the day. So there are some good illustrations in there as well. But you, you can look up starwars.com and then like the High Republic tag has a bunch of good uh pieces of art for the characters or wikipedia will have just used that art in their articles yeah and then there's quite a few pictures of the characters uh mostly i'd say look on starwars.com to find all the character pictures but also if you just uh google any of the characters names there if there's artwork for them it'll probably come up Stephen W. Fothery, Fothery, Fathery. I'm terrible with names. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat. Does Vader ever learn that the Emperor manufactured the Clone War with Dooku and the whole war was for nothing? What was his reaction? I think so. Um, Palpatine talks about working with Dooku and Dooku like serving his purpose in Kieran Gillen's Vader comic. So yeah, I think Vader knows what went down with the Clone Wars, but I I don't think he had much of a reaction to it. Mm. <laughs> I think he just like, well, this I mean, is my life now. Right, at that point, there's no use in getting, no use in crying over spilt milk at that point. A lot of spilt milk. <laughs> <laughs> spilt blood. Uh-huh. Uh, no use crying over youngling blood. <laughs> well, I didn't say that. <laughs> no use crying over blue milk. There we go. Uh, oh, no one sent in a super chat, a generous super chat. Thanks, no one. <laughs> uh... 
the way you build these is so frustrating. Not even separated by color. Uh, face palm emoji, wink wink emoji. Like, like I said, I had it kind of organized and then, I mean, we film other things here and I didn't want all this out. So I put it all in a Tupperware container and I'm definitely kicking myself now. Uh, this is a mess. It's it's a right mess. It, it looks very chaotic over there, and I'm glad that I am not building anything right now. I'm although not, it looks I'm not like, happy with myself. Although it looks like the instructions have gotten to the point where if we <clears throat> wanted to switch, we could because it started out there were like little to no instruction on where to put the pieces. Yeah, but it looks like you're getting a little more guidance. I guess. <laughs> Uh, another super chat from Sleep of Giants. <laughs> they say, you know what I like about Jedi? Nothing. Punch. <laughs> that's what, uh... I think Sleep of Giants likes the OC. That's that's what Maul would say, I think. <laughs> hey, Qui-Gon! I like that a lot. You know what I, <laughs> you know what I like about Jedi? Nothing. Nothing. Boop. <laughs> that feels like a mashup that needs to happen. I don't know why I gave him kind of like a whiny voice, but that is what it is. We'll uh, have to make that meme and send it to Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is a good meme. Uh, B Kenobi, thanks for the super chat. Out of curiosity, you two familiar with the similar structure Star Wars and Halo have, OG trilogy, direct prequel to first title, newer se sequel trilogy. This is interesting because you just were playing Halo. <laughs> I was playing Halo for the first time in 10 years last night. God, every time we stream, I remember how old I am. Somehow, someone does it. Uh, yeah, I was playing Halo Capture the Flag with some friends last night. I don't know why we all decided we were gonna play Halo again. I loved it. Uh, that's That might be my favorite first person shooter. It has like just the exact amount of variation to it. Like I understand the difference between all the guns. There's not too many guns where I'm like, this is just nonsense to me and mm -hmm. I don't know. It's like, yeah, this one has a scope on it. This one doesn't, and it shoots faster. And I'm like, I understand this. Uh, yeah. But Rain Man says, which Halo, though? Uh, last night we were playing CE, the original. I mean, it was the Master Chief collection. But... I remember in high school playing, when did the first Halo come out? Uh, oh, three, oh, two, oh, one. It was somewhere in there, like. So, it, yeah. It Halo was... 2 came out when we were, seniors because I, I played it a lot my freshman year of high school or college huh okay so this might have been halo 2 also could have been halo 1 i'm not sure but i remember going to a friend's house in high school and it was the first time i had tried to play a video game where you had to use both toggles to both move around uh -huh. physically and look around with your head and i just could not handle it, and I kept getting stuck in these like weird places, and then people would shoot me, and I was like, I didn't. <laughs> Maybe that scarred me, and that's why I don't play many video games anymore. That's the one of the, one of the best things about being at Georgia Tech was that like the entire campus was networked, so you could just plug your Xbox into the network, and like everyone on campus was a nerd. So everyone was playing Halo 2. You, it was so much fun. Uh, but yeah, the structure, <laughs> that was the actual question. That it has like a 1, 2, 3, Halo 1, 2, 3, and then yeah, they did Reach, which was a prequel to 1, and now they're doing 4, 5, 6? I, I don't know where Halo is at right now. And ODST is in there somewhere. I played Halo 1, 2, and 3. You can just... And stopped. The the, the gif of all the math equations uh -huh. going over my face is happening to me right now, where I'm like, 
I, I have no <laughs> idea. Go to Eckert's Ladder for all your Halo needs. <laughs> he covers Halo. <laughs> there you go. Someone in the chat said, uh, I wish I could make a Halo Explain channel. I'm sure there's one out there. But yes. Or I or just make one. Yeah. Even if there is one, make one. If you love Halo, talk about it. Because it is a cool universe. I like it. Uh, yeah. What's your favorite thing about the Halo universe? The helmets. <laughs> That's a good answer. And They're the, cool. And the gun. That one gun <laughs> that looks like a sword. It is a sword. That sword. <laughs> See, I know I know things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Mike Gibb, thank you so much for your super chat. In Babylon 5, the PSI core tried breeding telepaths to make stronger telepaths. Did the Jedi ever do anything like this in canon or legends? Huh. Not that I know of. They've, they've always seemed to be kinda, we better not do attachments and stuff. But I think, um, I mean, in legends, there were just the Jedi order before the Jedi. Mm -hmm. And they weren't really, they weren't like, you know, protectors of peace and justice and all that they just existed and so they were just cool yeah so <laughs> i think that they probably had families and stuff and then the sith order uh found the before they were the sith order like fallen jedi found the sith species and then like they had families together so i don't know if ever, anyone was ever like we're gonna actively try to experiment with genetics here but i guess it happened yeah, I, I got nothing on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I also, neither of us have watched Babylon, or have you? Mm -mm. Any of the Babylons, I don't, I don't know much I about I haven't that. seen Babylon 1 through 4. <laughs> <laughs> Derek Plummer, thank you for your super chat. Have you guys read Dune, and what do you think? I find it super interesting to see some things that were clear inspiration for some parts of Star Wars. I have not read Dune. Neither have I. I it's have it. It's a big book. It's not really. It's not that bad. It looks big. I've got it just out there. One of my friends loaned it to me years ago. It's a big book with tiny text. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a baby when it comes to reading. Uh... Um, maybe I listen to the audiobook sometime when there isn't. When, when Star Wars is officially dead, because <laughs> it will be at some point, uh, I'll start reading other books. <laughs> or is it already dead? I can't keep up. <laughs> Who knows anymore? Um... Dan23, thanks for the super chat. Are tomatoes in the Star Wars universe? Probably something like it. There's space waffles. They literally call them space waffles. So yeah, there's probably space tomatoes somewhere. I mean, there's definitely a pear in Attack of the Clones. Oh yeah, it's a space pear, but yes. Because that, that's the fruit that Anakin like floats over. As if Padme can't cut her own food. Uh-huh. He's just showing off. Infuri infuriates me some parts of that movie. Uh, anyways. He's just showing off. Obi-Wan would be very grumpy if he caught me doing this. Teehee. <laughs> Look at me, teehee. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I have to assume... I have to assume they have some version of a BLT <laughs> in Star Wars. Because, I mean, why wouldn't you? But the bacon comes from... Ooh, not, there's a not Ugnaughts. Puffer pig, puffer pig bacon. Puffer, yeah, puffer pig pagan. That, that literally does exist. Okay. Well, there you go. Yeah. I So I'll say yes. Yes until proven wrong. Uh, Kyle Beckworth, uh, thank you for your super chat. First time chatting live. Wanted to send support. I work overnights and they're great to... Oh, and they're great to listen to. 
Excited for the Schmodown draft on Friday. Any faction preferences, Molly? Have a great night. Oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> preferences? Yes, I do have a couple of preferences, but I'm not going to reveal them. Oh. Because I don't want people to... If I don't end up on that faction, I don't want people to be like, well, that's not where she wanted to go. Yeah, that's fair. But who knows that uh, if I, wherever I do end up, if it's not where I want to be, I will be vocal about it. <laughs> <laughs> really? M maybe. Okay. I mean, I know where you don't want to end up. So we'll see. We will see. We'll see. <laughs> Um, but yes, I'm very excited for the draft on Friday. I'm excited to see which rookies get picked up, especially the the people coming in for Star Wars and IG. Yeah, I'm glad that Star Wars is growing so much as a division. Yes. Getting a lot of generous super chats tonight. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everybody. Um, Shadow Demon 117 with another super chat. Alex, I am... A fellow Rogue Squadron fan like you, have you done a video on the evolutions on the games? It's funny, I've been telling people they should make a movie. My bad for a long message, great stream. Uh, <laughs> send send long yeah, messages. Yeah, that's, that's fine. fine. Um, man, yeah, I like a Rogue Squadron movie was the last thing I was expecting to be announced that day, which is why I was like running around the room. Uh, <laughs> made me so happy. So kind of, I mean, I felt kind of the same way. But like, when I really think about it, it's a great idea for just another Star Wars movie to be released that will probably bring in a lot of new fans. I think it has that potential. I think, yeah, yeah. I think Patty Jenkins. She's a great filmmaker, and you know she's she's got some specific history with pilots. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think whatever kind of movie she makes, even non Star Wars fans would like it. I will say I'm anxious to learn who's writing it, uh, but yeah, like whatever. <laughs> it's it's a pilot story. I'm excited. Um, I don't know much about like the gaming side of things i don't know what i would do about the evolution of the games uh, i don't think i ever played three first of all but two is amazing i love two so i don't know yeah i could i could look at something like that or at least just stream them at some point <laughs> uh Brandon Hancock, I just saw this in the chat. Wish we had a video of Al Alex's reaction to the Investor Day stuff. I do too. It was mostly just like, I say running around the room, but I was more just like, I got up and I was just like pacing. I don't well, know, I like, I can't sit still. He got I'm up excited. and was like texting everyone he knows that cares about Star Wars. Like, oh my God, did you see this? Blah, blah, blah. Like, I think I tried to catch a picture of you. Do you remember when that was? Uh... You did, you did get a picture of me, and it was uh, de early December, like December 10th. Hmm. Let me see if I can find it. Because it's, it's funny because it's like... Oh, I hear that tumbly... Rum tum tumbly rumbly? Tumbly rumblies. Here we go. <laughs> That's going to be hard to see. Uh, that's just me standing well it's blurry and you're like it's not focusing on the oh, there it goes and then you're just like so psyched <laughs> on your phone just like texting everyone you know <laughs> or no you're, you're you're showing off a tweet i think I, is it the one that just is a bunch of gibberish because I couldn't... Yeah, the one that Matt Martin replied to and was <laughs> like, figured this would happen. 
<sighs> wow, four, so 400 viewers, guys. Thanks so much. We're Thank about you. an hour into the stream. Uh, if you're a regular uh, viewer of the streams, thanks for coming in on the next stream. If you're new here, welcome. Um, if you are having a good time, hit that thumbs up button. Give us a give us a like. It helps the YouTube algorithm do something. <laughs> I hear it's a it's I hear it's good for the YouTubes. Or leave a or leave a thumbs down. I I really don't think it matters to YouTube, but it will matter to me. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Ted comment. Can we get to 300 likes? What will I do if we get to 300 likes? I will do an impression. I think I've done my I've, I've done my boss Nass impression yeah. before, but you guys maybe not haven't seen it. So I'll do a, a I'll, boss. I'll do a boss nest with you. We'll do our best boss nest impression. If we get to four hundred likes, I will look up a sea shant shanty shanty. Uh huh. And and sing part of it. How are you gonna know how it goes? I won't. <laughs> okay. It, weren't sea shanties trending recently? Yeah, yeah. On people are into sea shanties now. I don't know why. Exactly. So I'll just find one and I'll do my best. <laughs> I'm just digging myself a giant hole here for future streams. <laughs> um, amidst the light 85, thank you so much for your generous super chat. It seems to be a... Uh, Contentious, wait, contentious? Contentious. Contentious, I can't read. It seems to be a contentious subject among Star Wars fandoms that the lore doesn't support gray Jedi. Is the idea of balance in the force only aligned with the light from a metaphysical perspective? Ooh. Wow. That's a lot of big words. Okay, <laughs> so. I've seen people get a little bent out of shape over like the term gray Jedi. And I don't know why, I don't know why. Like in canon, yes, the word gray Jedi doesn't exist because it makes no sense. Uh, a Jedi cannot um, dabble in the dark side and be a Jedi still. So like the term gray Jedi just doesn't make sense but we as fans use it because we don't know what to call someone like that someone that isn't a jedi but they they use the light but also the dark just like a normal everyday force user i guess mm -hmm. someone that hasn't committed themselves to the light side we don't know what to call them so we call them gray jedi and that's fine that's that's the way i see it but no i don't think that a Jedi can use both sides of the Force. Yeah. Like I don't think so. Either. Some sometimes you're going to use the dark side, but like Yeah, you can you can tap into the dark side, but you have to realize what you're doing and and pull yourself back. Uh, I don't want to spoil a test of courage. I was going to say the same thing. For anyone who wants to read the new Higher Public book, A Test of Courage, it's a middle grade book mm -hmm. right it's a middle grade book so it it's it's a short read it's like a a quick story again it's meant for middle, middle grade, grade readers uh but i loved it and i i love justina ireland's writing and there is a character in the book who struggles with tapping into the dark side and you know, having to understand and deal with the repercussions, just like mentally. I mean, I like that the message of that story part of it is like, look, 
you you fell you used the dark side a little bit but that doesn't mean that you've fallen to the dark side everyone has good days everyone has bad days the as long as you're trying to be better yeah. that's all that matters yeah. so and kind of the moral of the story is like the the person that we're talking about is like oh I, they're never going to let me back into the the Jedi temple ever again like I'm I'm done for and that's just not the case they're like you can learn about your mistakes and be forgiven um you just got to put in the work so yeah that was kind of a tangent oops <laughs> oh 300 likes reached okay <laughs> One. Wait, wait, wait. So I'm trying to think of the line that he says. Oh, I was just going to. I thought we just shook. Okay. What does he say to Padme where he goes? Me saw thinking. Jenkins. We saw being friends. <laughs> now my head hurts. <laughs> my brain shakes around. <laughs> I'm gonna get whiplash in my neck. <laughs> uh, I'm rewatching the play on the replay. New GIF incoming. Oh, reaped on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> someone said, "Give us a boss nest sea shanty." Well, that would be something. All right, get us get us to four hundred likes, and I'll I'll sing you a sea shanty. Okay, uh, where was I? Christian Daprick, thank you for your super chat. Is there a chance we see my favorite character of all time, Plo Koon, appear in the High Republic? By legend standards, he would be alive already. Then maybe. I mean, they've they've brought in Oppo Rancisis and Yarl Poof and Yoda, so it's not like they're shying away from Jedi who are alive at that point. Mm -hmm. So yeah, maybe if he's like a Padawan during this time, that'd be cool. I'd love to see that. I uh, love Plo Koon. How, how old is he then it, when he dies? I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> well, everyone, I assume everyone's seen Revenge of the Sith. I know, but they, they said it was his favorite character. <laughs> okay, why can't I get this on? <laughs> I thought you were apologizing for spoilers. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just didn't want to bring up his, his tragic his tragic passing. I would love to see Plo Koon, like, as a youngling or as a, yeah, Aww. a Jedi Knight. Oh, ooh, okay. I want to see him as a youngling, but he still has that really deep voice. <laughs> <laughs> Decap Coffee, thank you so much for the super chat. Hey, Alex and Molly, I started building my Lego bonsai tree. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I saw, I saw that set. It looks pretty nice. <gasps> that sounds like something I would want to build on my Twitch. How big is it? Too big. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it would fit on... Okay. <laughs> um, what trivia, Star Wars, or otherwise should we be sending your way? I mean, currently I'm studying just specific movie trivia from the films. Yeah, Molly's the one with a schmodown coming up. I can I can just relax. So What? You have to defend the belt. I can just relax. You hear this guy? He's like, "I don't need to study anymore." I didn't say that. I mean, I I kind of do feel like you could go in without having studied and and still win. That's neither here nor there. It's not going to happen. I'm getting that belt. It's mine. Hey, no, no, no. It's Don't touch mine. that. 
Don't touch that. Mine. Don't touch that. You put it Stop on, it. It's, it's on my side. Don't touch that. I usually sit there. <laughs> Uh, let's see. High Ground Productions. Thanks for another super chat. What was going on with Cad Bane today? Um, I don't, I don't actually know. I just saw... What? Cad Bane. Yeah? Um, I think... Cad Bane is rumored to be in the Book of Boba Fett. That's what I saw. Oh, I didn't see that at all. Okay. And by rumored to be in, I mean, I think I saw Kessel Run transmissions talking about it. So, okay. Take that how you will. It's, I don't know if it's a rumor, if it's a leak. I don't know. But that's, that, that's what was going on today. I think that would be bomb. I'd I would love, love that. Cad Bane in live action? That'd be great. Cad Bane in live action. Yes, please. And then start selling those hats. <laughs> uh, John Boo's with another super chat, I believe. Or maybe this is his first one. I can't remember. Uh... Did you ever get to see the 3D movie Captain EO at Disneyland or World? Seemed like Star Wars as a kid. Even had a Max Rebo lookalike named Hooter. <laughs> I have never seen that. You know that's the Michael Jackson thing, right? Yeah, and I, I've never seen it. I haven't either. Well, I don't I, think I have. I, I take it back. I think I've seen parts of it. I don't know that I've seen the whole thing. I'm sure it's probably on line somewhere. But that's a, yeah, we didn't really grow up going to theme parks. I saw uh Reefton said first one today, Molly. I don't I don't know what that is referring to, but Oh, oh, from John Boos. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I'm going to have to Google that and see if I can find that online, because I do want to watch it. Jedi Array, thanks for the super chat. Did the Jedi have any pastimes, sports, hobbies, book club? I feel like... I, I could be making this up, but I feel like there was some sport mentioned in a book. Servants of the Empire had one, but that wasn't... They, they probably played sports. I bet they had intramural leagues and stuff. I mean, pod racing. Uh, the, I, mean, I don't think the Jedi did that. Well, they probably didn't gamble, but... Because <laughs> that's very frowned upon, I think, in the, in the Jedi. Ooh. I'm trying to install something here. Maybe uh, competitive... Maybe they played some form of chess, where it's like very calm. Hollow chess, yeah, that seems like something that, yeah, like a boring. <laughs> Speaking of hollow chess, uh huh, cute. Does this chair swivel? Yeah. <gasps> See, I know when things move. No, you don't. Molly <laughs> literally came in the other day, so I've been building the Lego NES on my Twitch stream, and Molly came in and immediately picked it up and pulled something off of it. It was an easy fix, but still. It's a controller. It's meant to be plugged in and pulled out. Mm -hmm. Alex was like, you already broke something. You did. I didn't break it. It wasn't broken. It's a Lego. Legos don't break. Just because it was easy to they fix doesn't apart. mean it wasn't broken. <laughs> Legos don't break. They fall apart. <laughs> That's going to be my new mantra. Uh, Ted comment, what's up? Thanks for the super chat. In honor of its game being re-released, who's your favorite evil ex in Scott Pilgrim versus versus the Ooh. world? Mine's Todd. First, he was a vegan. Now he's vegan. <laughs> um, 
I was gonna say Todd too, because I don't know why, but the the line, "Don't you talk to me about grammar," cracks me up. <laughs> and I, we also love the vegan police. We went as the vegan police for Halloween one year. That's true. Uh, Thomas Jane and oh, what's his name? Clifton Collins Jr. Is that him? I think that's him. I gosh, that that's before we got married because. Courtney went as me, but yeah, engaged. that's right. Yep. Man, that was so long ago, and that was super fun. Uh, we had these like hemp necklaces. <laughs> I twisted my hair with like hair gel to make it look like it was in uh, dreadlocks. Good times. I love that movie. Who's your favorite evil ex? Oh, um, the girl. I forget Roxy? her name. Roxy. Roxy. I think. Yeah. I think she was my favorite because she was so intense. <laughs> That's a movie I wouldn't mind watching again. It's in Inner Geekdom. Mm. Uh, another generous super chat from Shadow Demon One One Seven. <laughs> I'll explain. I'm a Halo fan. Check out YouTube Halo Canon for lore. And the order is Halo Wars, Halo Reach. Oh, Halo Wars! I forgot about that game. Halo ODST, Halo Two, Halo Three, Four, Five, Halo Wars Two. Now they are on Halo and infinite slash six uh but glad you enjoyed the game alex <laughs> uh <laughs> that's I, a lot of halos <laughs> i forgot all about halo wars and i like rts games yeah. Meh. Meh. uh tid comment says yes it was roxy okay it's still in there still i don't think i remember i don't it. remember the twins names uh, yeah. I remember Lucas Lee. I do like Lucas Lee is great. I think they want you to stream you playing Halo. I'll do that. Well, yeah, I can do that tonight. Because I was going to first after this, I'm going to play the Resident Evil 8 demo. <gasps> spook scares. I'm doing a spooky stream. I, I turned the scares back on spook scares. just just for that. See? Uh, so I'm gonna play the demo, but it's only like 20 minutes. So I could I could pop onto Halo after that. Yay, spook scares! I I'm gonna try to contain myself with the spook scares until next October. I'm gonna really Ooh, build that suspension. Long. I'm gonna no, keep it to October only for the spook scares for me on Twitch. Um, that that'll be October will just be my month. <laughs> My time to shine on Twitch. <laughs> uh, Miranda here. Thanks for the super chat. Thanks for the wired clarification. Do you think Liam Neeson was being coy when he asked if Star Wars was starting to fade away from the cinematic landscape? Will be will he be a force ghost in Kenobi? Ooh. I think that if the story involves him he's coming back like he was happy to voice Qui-Gon in the Clone Wars so he, I, I haven't read that interview or anything so I don't know exactly what was said or what wasn't but I, I could absolutely see him being in Kenobi yeah I, I didn't read the interview either but I could see him coming back to Star Wars like oh I feel like a lot of the actors are willing to come back for whatever. So I think it's it's definitely possible. If if nothing else, we might hear his voice. Right. And for those of you in the chat asking about me streaming on Twitch, I I do still plan to play Detroit Become Human. It just I can't really. Molly's 
focusing on the Schmodown yeah, right now. I'm, I'm just, I'm studying and I, I can't get too involved in anything else right now. Hi, Pippin. I see you creeping in here. Pippin. Come here, here he comes. Come here. here he comes. Here, Pippin. Pippin. Oh, <gasps> there he is. All right, be careful, please. Pippin, come here. Come here. And then he lap? shoves the falcon off. <laughs> no, just gonna stand there. At least he didn't put his butt in the camera. Uh, say hi. Oh, little Pippin. <laughs> I want to get him to like purr in the microphone. He's got a very cute purr. He, <laughs> I don't think he wants to be here, so he's probably not well, gonna purr. You came in here, Pippin. This is what you wanted. Can he purr? No. <laughs> he's just like, let me go. Good job, Pippin. Now you're just in my way. <laughs> Oleoscar2000, thanks for the super chat. What's the HB counter in the bottom left corner? I believe that is whoever... I think it's called Stream Boss. Is it whoever super chats the most? No, it's or like... The most, or the most recent? So whoever... Each, like, super chat or, like, if it's on Twitch, any follow or subscribe or any any activity will take off health on that thing and then whoever is the person to knock out the stream boss becomes the new stream boss i don't know i turned it on years ago and i like don't even <laughs> i don't think i knew what it did then mm. oh this goes up here oh boy how, how are you doing we've got this segment that's new. How are you feeling oh, that's about wrong. Hold on. building? I'm feeling good. It's just, you know, it's a lot of details. It's kind of slow going, which I knew it would be. Mm -hmm. uh, Jane Dalton, thanks for the super chat. Why is the jetpack the most expensive and dangerous part of the Mandalorian armor? The only part that is not made of Beskar. <laughs> That's, they need some weakness. It's a good point. Um, hmm. Maybe it has to do with just like how jetpacks work internally. Like the material that it's made out of has to be lighter or is the best car. I don't know. Maybe maybe fuel jet fuel corrodes it. Mm. I mean, a lightsaber can't cut through it, but that doesn't make much sense. Um, but we don't know how fuel works mm -mm. in Star Wars. We sure don't. Especially jetpack fuel. But that, you make a good point. <laughs> <laughs> because that's not the way. That's Ooh, why. There you go. <laughs> Good vague uh -huh. answer for anything questioned in the Mandalorian culture. Armon R, thanks for the super chat. What is your favorite Lego set? Well, ever. I know what mine is. Is it Baby Yoda? It's it's Grogu. He's adorable, and he's in my office. Um. I'm gonna try to go old school. I really liked, I had this, it was before they had the Indiana Jones license. So they 
made their own Indiana Jones, and it had it was like this pyramid that had trap doors and stuff. Uh, I really loved that one as a kid. I loved anything with a trap door or a jail in it as a kid. Oh, and Aquazone, that was a good one. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Submarines and stuff. I, I see I didn't do Lego growing I know you up. Didn't. Why can't this go on? <laughs> uh it's this one piece. Deshaun Davison, thanks for the super chat. No message, but got a little a little gif. I'm trying to see there what go. Oh, so the gif is like a, a lady with blonde hair giving us a cup of coffee and it says, for you. Oh, <laughs> thank, you. thank you. We'll just pretend it's a cup of beer. So cheers. Uh. Oh, okay. Oop. Oh, wait. Oh, Miranda here in the chat said that they joined our Patreon. Thank you. Thanks, Miranda here. It's very kind of you. Oh, God. This is... Okay, I'm trusting you. Me? Uh-huh. Why? Hold this. <laughs> Hold it up like this? Uh-huh. How am I supposed to see this? Oh. Okay. He's trusting me, guys. It's working. It's working. Good job. Basically, if I put my hands on something and it doesn't break, I get praise. <laughs> uh, Christian Daprick, thanks for the super chat. If you were given creative control to write a story in the inevitable Return of the Jedi from a certain point of view, mm -hmm. what obscure story would you write? Um, I mean, the one I hope to see is something from Max Rebo, obviously. Yeah, and I, I hope to see an Ahsoka story, but I wouldn't want to write it because that one's an important one. Right. I'm trying to think of ideas of... I really love when, when from a certain point of view, tells us stories from characters that were created after the movie. So... Ray Sloan has already had a story that takes place during Return of the Jedi and the Battle of Endor, so maybe someone like Captain Doza from Resistance or uh, Poe's parents. Well, they they kind of they they kind of had their story told in the comic. But I might I might say Aiden Versio. Is that a possibility? Um, she is there for the Battle of Endor, so that feels like the game starts during Return of the Jedi. Right. So, like... Oh, no, I'm, I'm not talking about characters after the movie, though. Like you are. Well, no, no, you are. Because Aiden was created well after the movie. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but so, she's there during that time period. Yeah, but I'm saying that she's already had kind of her story during Return of the Jedi told. Oh, okay, gotcha. Um, I mean, I have a, a pretty solid idea okay, I'd otherwise. Okay, Pop Lou. Just like that's a good one. Just like what, where did a very, he go? A very short story, and it, and he is just the most baller Ewok. Baller. There ever was. He's the most baller, like thug <laughs> Ewok. He's like, I'm gonna steal that ride, and then he does it. What's she gonna do? What a hero! I love Pop Lou. And it's it's just a, like it's a one page story. <laughs> It, it it tells the story of like okay he steals the speeder bike he swings up into the vines and then like it turns into predator and it's like the most violent story and he hunts down those three other biker scouts yes <laughs> <sighs> did you what did you which one did you say uh, max rebo max i guess rebo. okay Uh, another super chat from Jane Dalton. Thanks so much, Jane. 
Are there any canon theme parks in the Star Wars universe? If not, maybe a return of hologram fun world, probably with a different name. So I feel like there is. I feel like in Phasma. Oh yeah. In Phasma, because Good I call. love the book Good so call. much, and I remember these things. There, she talks about being in this deserted area planet, like a surprise, surprise, a desert planet. But there are like ruins in this desert to where it looks like there was a civilization there. And they specifically talk talk about ruins that look like some kind of roller coaster ride. Yeah. I don't I don't know the exact wording that they used, but I mean it's a roller coaster. <laughs> like yeah. So I what planet was that? Parnassos? Parnassus. I think that's what it was called. Yeah. I think it's Parna Parnassus. Good call. I totally forgot about that. So yeah, there was a theme park somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> I just saw Raymond say, where is SFC Pruitt? Is he okay? <laughs> is he okay? <laughs> I agree, where is he? Or them? Where, where are they? Jedi Array, thanks for the super chat. Do you think the Jedi had a competitive force lifting contest <laughs> as a pastime? I feel like at some point, yeah, there had to have been like. I mean, it wasn't official. It was like a, <laughs> like a. Yeah, an underground fight, like like a fight club. Uh, a bunch of Padawans mm -hmm. trying to break the rules. The first rule of Jedi Fight Fight Club is no choking. <laughs> the second rule is. Don't talk. Don't about talk it. about it. <laughs> no force choking. <laughs> uh, Stephen Smith, thanks for the super chat. When does Phase One end and Phase Two start for the High Republic books? I have uh, no idea. Uh, all they told us was that Phase One will go into next year. So, I, I assume phase two starts next year at some point but they didn't give us any firm dates mm. do, do we know uh, what other books are going to be released just the next handful is that what you mean like rising storm is coming in june the manga uh the graphic novel, Out of the Shadows, the young adult book. Mm -hmm. And that's all leading into next year? That's all like in the middle of this year. Oh. So there's probably going to be, I wouldn't be surprised if there's another adult novel this year. Mm -hmm. um, but making do, you, do you think that would be the beginning of phase two or still in phase one? Fa still phase one. Phase two is not going to start until next year. And I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't start until the end of next year. If there's three phases... Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope for like seven books in a phase, adult books. I think that would be reasonable mm -hmm. and it would get us to about the length of like the new Jedi order. I think that was something like 25 or 30 books, but three phases, a 20 book series, like that sounds awesome. So many books. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of that's a lot of reading for me to do, <laughs> man. You're doing great so far. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, Harrison Alexander, thanks for the super chat. They said I like turtles. Smash that like button, or smash <laughs> the like button. <laughs> so in honor. In honor of uh, SFC Pruitt, we got to mention it. Yep. We like turtles. How much more you got over there? I'm 
doing pretty good. I mean, this was a slow going day, I feel, because of the mess that I made, but I think we're almost done with this bag. Sounds good. Well, I have to take a potty break. Okay. Because it's me and that's just what I do. Um, <laughs> why won't this let me scroll all the way down? Well, I, okay, I'll just read this last one. We've, we've gotten caught up with Super Chats. Uh, Jedi Array with another Super Chat. <laughs> what is your favorite Star Wars special, Family Guy or Robot Chicken? I do like them both, but I like Robot Chicken more. I will, I'll have my answer when I come back. Okay, a lot of tension. <laughs> um, yeah, Robot Chicken... I haven't kept up with that series, which I think it's on HBO Max. I should catch up on it uh, because I like it a lot, but I like their sense of humor and I really love just the little fast sketches that they do uh, with Star Wars. And I love that like George Lucas was in on it and, and liked them so much that he was trying to get them to do Star Wars detours. So, yeah, Robot Chicken. Um, but I, I still like the Family Guy one, and I really love that they even went so far as to, like, joke about... Um, oh, my God, I can't think of his name. Seth Green. Uh, <laughs> since he did a voice on Family Guy, and they, they made jokes about how Robot Chicken did it first, and then Seth MacFarlane's Carrot Peter was saying, yeah, but does anyone even watch that? <laughs> I really liked all those jokes and that side of it. But I find the robot chicken special to be superior. Ah, John Booz, thank you. N New Jedi Order was 19, not counting the weird <laughs> digital novellas. Okay. I don't know why I thought 25, but... Yeah, like, that, I don't know why the, the number 20 sits in my head, and then I'm like, okay, 20 divided by three phases would be six point something, so seven-ish. But yeah, I, I think 20 full-on novels would be, I mean, that's already huge. But then they could also, like, with, with all the young adult novels, so, okay, 20 novels might be a little much considering they're writing young adults and middle grade and comics and everything, but I'd still love it. What are you talking about? Novels? Yeah, just how big I want uh, the High Republic to be. Oh, yeah. Um, so I prefer Robot Chicken. And we really need to <laughs> do a rewatch for those because it's like that's that's some of the funniest Star Wars comedic uh, parody stuff that that exists out there. I mean, the Family Guy stuff is funny too, but I I loved just the regular Robot Chicken stuff. And when they did Star did Wars, it's there's we make so many jokes about those sketches, like "Oh, you look crazy." <laughs> So, like, Palpatine has a hairdresser in a skit. Yarl Poof comes up uh -huh. a lot. <laughs> he's disguised, but only with, like, a mustache, and he's working at, like, a cafeteria <laughs> serving food. Stormtrooper. 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 We need to recreate that at, like, uh, Dragon Con or something. Ooh, yeah, with like the when escalator. There's a bunch of, yeah. With all the five of first there. That'd be. How do we do that? Because we'd have to follow Palpatine, and it'd have to go really slowly. But we we could we, we could, could do, it. do it. <laughs> okay, three hundred seventy-one likes. I. So we only have 373 viewers currently, so I don't know if we're gonna get to 400 likes. 
I don't know if you guys are gonna hear my sea shanty well, or not. we're almost done with this bag anyway. Yeah. But, next time. <gasps> Molly! Did you break something? All right, what just flew off of that though? Ooh. I, I don't know. You guys saw it, check the tapes. Seriously, where does this go? Oh, there it is, okay. Is that supposed to? Yeah, kinda. Be wobbly? Kinda. <laughs> oh no, it's the leg, the legs are getting up there now. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm gonna have to look up a sea shanty. <laughs> Hurry, Alex, finish. Not gonna finish it in three likes worth. I get this back Oh, on? I wish I could do the one that Matt knows. Oh, Is I am the very, that's not a sea shanty. That's just a song. I am the very model of a modern major, major general. That's all I know of that. Okay, well, I, I pulled up, all right, we it have happened, 400 likes. Way, so. <laughs> I pulled up Drunken Sailor. <laughs> But that one's pretty repetitive. Like, what do you do with a drunken sailor? Is that a sh sea shanty? Yeah, well, I think so. Uh, yeah, sea shanty. Let me hear a little bit of how it goes. Oh, you're gonna get us flagged. Oh boy. Uh-oh. If you guys have a sea shanty that you wanna specifically hear, <laughs> let me know. We could do a sea shanty version of California. Is that Drunken Sailor? It is. Uh, I picked it because it's a lot of the same lines just repeated over and over again. Do you want me to do these stickers while you, while you work? I mean, I want to do the stickers. Okay, I'll wait. All right, here we go. What will we do with a drunken sailor? What will we do with a drunken sailor? What will we do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Way hey and up she rises. Way hey and up she rises. Way hey and up she rises early in the morning. Shave his belly with a rusty razor. Shave his belly with a rusty razor. Shave his belly with a rusty razor early in the morning. Way hey and up she rises. Way hey and up she rises. Way hey and up she rises early in the morning. Put him in. Wait. Put him in a long boat till he's sober. Put him in a long boat till he's sober. Put him in a long boat till he's sober. Sober. Somber. Somber. Or sober. Early in the morning. Way, hey, and up she rises. Way, hey, and up she rises. Way, hey, and up she rises. Early in the morning. Uh, I think that's it. <laughs> Good job. I'm out of breath. That got fast. Oh, wait, no, that's not it. Uh-oh. God. Hold on. You did just say you'd sing part of it, but you, you go nuts. Stick him in a scrubber with a horse pipe bottom. Stick him in a scrubber with a horse pipe bottom. Stick him in a scrubber with a horse pipe bottom early in the morning. And blah, blah, blah. <laughs> These <laughs> lyrics. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> you just yada, yada, a, put him in, a sea shanty. Wait, put him in the bed with the captain's daughter. Put him in the bed with the captain's daughter. Put him in the bed with the captain's daughter early in the morning. Way, hey, and up she rises. Way, hey, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> That's what we do with a drunken sailor. That's what we do with a drunken sailor. That's what we do with a drunken sailor. Early, Early in the morning. morning. <laughs> That's it. That's all I got. You're welcome, internet. Thanks for all the likes. <laughs> a 10 out of 10, yay. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh, uh, and so Rain Man sent in a, a very generous super chat saying, we all love turtles. And also, uh, what, what was what did the last one say? Oh, no. 
Then he now sent do it in a German accent. another very generous super chat and said, now do it in a German accent. Um, I don't know how many likes that would take, but it's it's more than we could probably ever get in a stream. <sighs> these, these all go on these, just like on this flat round part. So these are like the seats. Yeah. So just straight on like that. Okay. Um, and then in between Rain Man's very nice uh, super chats. We got one from Jedi Array, another super chat that said, how would you feel about a Clone Wars abridged series a la Team Four Star? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that'd be awesome. I love, I haven't kept up with uh, DBZ abridged, but uh, when I watched it, I loved it. I don't know what, what that is. Uh, I've shown it to you before. It's like someone just overdubbed Dragon Ball Z. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Goes on like this? Uh, yeah. Is it closer to this bottom? I'd start the... at the bottom, yeah. Okay. It should, it should fit pretty well. Uh, yeah, Team Four Star's great. Like, I, I really liked Dragon Ball Z growing up, but I really like DBZ Abridged, because you still get the story and it's hilarious. I see a, a Star Wars trivia in the chat that I, I think I know the answer to. Uh, trivia stump, how does Maul die in, Star, in the Star Wars, oh wait, in Star Wars Visionaries and where does he die? Oh wait, maybe that's not what I'm thinking of. I don't think it's what you're thinking of. What's Star Wars Visionaries? Uh, it's a comic. So you know when he has like the big long, not the spider legs, but after that he gets like really long mechanical legs. That was developed in uh, a comic that was basically like a, it wasn't even Legends canon. It was like a, let's just let people have fun. And so someone wrote a story about, hey, what if Maul survived the Phantom Menace? Wouldn't that be crazy? Uh, and then went hunting after Obi-Wan. So uh, he confronts Obi-Wan on Tatooine, and uh, Owen Lars shoots Darth Maul in the head. <laughs> so yeah, Owen kills Maul wow. on Tatooine. Owen's like a secret badass. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> okay, I I vaguely remember this story. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I'm I'm like out of breath from <laughs> singing. That was a long shanty. That was a long shanty. I didn't know that there were so many lyrics to that song. You thought you chose an easy one. It was, I mean, it was probably a lot easier than I could have chosen. <laughs> uh, Reefton, I'm glad I made you smile. <laughs> uh, where are we at right now? Oh, Decap Coffee, thanks for another super chat. How do you feel about space balls? Did you know Katie Sackoff has an original RC character? What? B word pudding? Also, I know all the RCSWs by heart. What's. Oh, robot chicken. Robot chicken. Okay. Uh, A, I like Spaceballs. Katie Sackhoff has a robot chicken character. <laughs> uh, is that the name? I, I assume Katie has done a voice for Robot Chicken. And yeah, that's probably the character she voiced. I don't, I don't know it, but if you find a, a picture of it. Yep, Robot Chicken Wiki. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> that, that looks right. <laughs> Uh, no, I didn't know she did a voice in Robot Chicken. I know Donald Faison has done a ton. Oh, she's a Strawberry Shortcake parody mm. character. <laughs> oh, that's we we never talked about uh, Larry the Stormtrooper. Is it Larry? Gary. Gary. Wait. Yeah, Gary. Larry the Stormtrooper is a a YouTube animator who does uh, some really fun animations. 
Yeah, Gary the Stormtrooper is Donald Faison's. Gotcha. But I, I love Gary. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Still out of breath. <laughs> Couple of people said Mara Jade vibes. My hair's not long enough yet, although I'm trying to grow it back out. My hair's at such a weird length right now. I kind of hate this length of hair on me. I like the shorter hair and I like the long hair, but I'm starting to kind of hate the, the middle, middle ground. Brandon Hancock, thanks for joining us. They say, gotta go. Y'all have a good night. May the force be with you. See you, Brandon. Uh, yeah, Gary the Stormtrooper, did that, did Donald Faison create that before? No. Or after he, that skit was a no, thing? No, that was a robot chicken creation. But he did more with that character, didn't he? No. On his own YouTube Gary the Stormtrooper is always robot chicken, but Donald Faison did a black Stormtrooper. So oh, yeah. it's a stormtrooper wearing black armor and he does like on his own channel he does lego stop motion stories about his his own little stormtrooper character mm. <laughs> oh boy uh Michelle Cobb, thanks for the super chat. Can you name all of Padme's handmaidens, Oof. including the one that got done dirty in the Clone Wars? I don't know what that means. Um, but I will start to name some. I, I, I never remember them all, but go for it. Do, I mean, how many are there total? Seven? Sabe, Sashe. Rabe. Those are the three that I could think of first. And Yerte. Mm. Yerte. Yerte. Yane. Yep. <laughs> Corde. Uh huh. Kevin. What? I just thought I'd sneak one in. Don't forget Dorme. Dor uh, Dorme. Wait, how many is that? Seven? Eight? Uh, and then there's the one from the Clone Wars that I'm definitely not gonna remember. Yeah, it's... So I didn't read... Which one was it? Queen's... The... I think you read Queen's Shadow. I read Queen's Shadow. I did not read Queen's Peril. But, yeah, there's... There's a lot. <laughs> That's... Tekla? Is that one? That might be the Clone Wars one. Oh. <laughs> Someone said Lamau, Kevin. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, Tekla was shot during the Clovis taking over the Banks thing. Oh, we haven't gotten there yet in a rewatch. Oh, well, there you go. And Peggy. And Peggy. <laughs> but I think we got most of them. Eh, pretty happy with that. I have no idea what I just built. Mm -hmm. Doesn't need a sticker. No. Oh, one of the stickers for the Falcon is just like pot marks from being shot and stuff. Lasers. <laughs> oh my God. This is like, this is just gonna turn into like a bunch of little details. <laughs> <laughs> yep.
Um, we got two super chats in from Eric Guess. One says message retracted. So I'm not sure if there was a one to begin with, but the second one says, do you remember Hardware Wars? Uh, yeah. That's Ryan Johnson did a, an homage to it in The Last Jedi, The Iron. Oh, wait. <laughs> what is Hardware Wars It's, it's a fan. It, it was like one of the original fan films. They, oh. they just like told a Star Wars story with hardware. Oh, no. I, well, I have never seen that or heard of it. Yes, Ryan Isaacs, we are all caught up with Super Chat, so I'm currently just reading through the the chat. <clears throat> Colin J, love your vids, great content, love someone in the community, not hate keeping Star Wars. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, also, uh, Ryan Isaacs asked, did we watch the Phineas and Ferb Star Wars? No. Not yet. We have not yet, unfortunately. Oops. We will. One day. Robert, yes, we are still here. Uh, they left to go cook. <laughs> <laughs> but we are almost done, I think. Yeah. And then, probably gonna go eat dinner. It's almost 8.30, so my show starts at 9.15 tonight. And we are, if you, if any of you guys who are still here are Schmodown fans, you can check me out on A Certain Point of View tonight. Um, our normal nights are Sunday nights. And then we do reactions for the matches once they start rolling out. But tonight we are talking to some more rookies. So I know James from Resistance Broadcast is one of them. Sadly, I do not know the other two names. I should. Uh... We've just we've talked to so many rookies, and they've all been just so delightful. Evan, Evan Bushkar, and Ross Arsenault, and James Barney, so yeah. I did it. You did it! I did it. You only had like a brief moment where you may have broken something, and it wasn't my fault. That was, okay, that, that was three bags, <laughs> so like, I started to get a little cocky in our second stream because I was like, oh, we just blew through bag two and then bag three took uh, like three and a half hours. So. Yeah. Well, so this was a, about a two hour stream. So I think if we keep going two hour streams, we'll be good. Hi, Pippin. I was thinking there's 17 bags. So hopefully it works out to be 17 sessions. And if we can do that, we finish it on May 5th. There you go. Whew. Hold us accountable. <laughs> I'll try. I will try. <laughs> um, well, I think that's going to be it for us tonight. Thank you guys so much. for what? I, want, I want those stickers oh. for a bookmark. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching us, or watching Alex build Legos, watching me sing really silly songs for likes <laughs> i did some backup well yeah you did too oh and then one last super chat for the night to close us out stephen smith thank you so much thanks for keeping the star wars community positive <laughs> thanks stephen that is that's our goal that's our goal that's what we try to do all right 
Uh, um, I'll be over on my Twitch channel, Alex Damon Live, in like half an hour. I'll be I'll be there at nine, and I'm gonna play some Resident Evil Eight, and then maybe I'll play some Halo. I was gonna play Uncharted Two, but like, why not start like an eighth game that I never finish? There are no rules. Basically. We'll see. I'll play it by ear. I'll see what people want. Cause I, I oh yeah, but I'm at the train part of Uncharted Two. It's so good. Mm. We'll see. <laughs> Maybe do like a Twitter poll or something. Yeah, I can, I can do a Twitch poll. Let's do that too. <laughs> All right. Uh, again, thanks for tuning in. We will see you same time, same place next week. See ya. Bye.